Hey YouTube, um, it's uh, the Hawks Den. It is yet again another Monday, and uh, I'm gonna try and do a another feeding video. And I got time before I have to be at work. I know I haven't really been doing a lot of updates. It's just things with work has been incredibly insane. And on top of that, me and my mother are going through a bit of a dire situation in terms of where we're living at and trying to find a new place to go. I'm not going to go into too much detail, but that's pretty much what's been going on. But I do apologize for, for uh, making anybody worry. But, uh, everything's okay for the time being. But, uh, enough of me. Uh, let's get things started with, uh, feeding, uh, the tarantulas. Okay, here is my Heterothele villicella, the Tanzanian chestnut baboon. I'm gonna go ahead and feed this one and see what she does. Oh, jeez. I don't know if you guys saw that. But it definitely has a lot of ferocity. It definitely has an appetite. Glad I'm not in the receiving end of those fangs, but moving on. Next is my Matokamas and Neopubendans. I'm gonna throw the roach, see what she does. Instant takedown. At a girl. This might be her last roach because her abdomen is looking a little on the fat side. So, I think it is safe to say this one will be molting very, very soon. So, yeah. Literally one of my favorite tarantulas to feed. He's an awesome eater. No issues. Nada. Okay, here is my Davos uh, Fasciatus. Professor Sietum, I forgot how it's pronounced, but I'm gonna throw the roach and see what she does. Okay, she bolt she kinda of freaked out. Oh, she got it. She got it. I'm sorry along with the uh, green bottle blue. This one has very gorgeous patterns. Just all in all, an awesome spider. A little on the skittish side, but glad I got her. Here is the enclosure for the Samupeos Ermenia. I already threw the roach in there. So it's just a matter of waiting for it to take down the roach. The roach decides to actually show itself. Get 
second. Trying to give the road some encouragement to go the other way. Ooh! I wish I had freaking slow motion. Now that was. Okay, I'm sorry. Every time the Semapeos Hermenia uh, feeds, it always gives like a satisfying takedown. Hands down. Best tarantula I have when it comes to feeding, aside from the green bottle blue. Here is my Acanthoscura Deniculata. Hopefully she's in the eating mood. Yes, she is. Everyone tells me on, on YouTube about this species that they will be eating and eating and eating. And that's what I love about this species. It's sad that my uh, Nandu Crematus didn't have the same appetite as uh, this one. Moving on. All right, here is my Apinopalma Simani Blue. It looks like she's ready to eat, so I'll drop it down and see what happens. Oh. Oh, I don't know if you guys saw that. But she did get it. There you go. You can see her just like a tad bit. This one, my uh, Canthoscura geniculata, and my uh, Sineopi, Chromatopalma sineoplucansins. These guys are by far my best eaters. This one will literally take down live food, no problem, despite her size. Got the roach. It looks like the roach is still struggling, but she's got this. I'm going to leave her be and uh, continue on. Here is my Apinopalma calcodes, uh, the second one that I got. So I'm going to drop the roach, see what happens. Come on. Okay, there you go. See what happens. Oh. I'm going to get it. Yep. She got it. got it. 
I don't know if you can see her. I think that's the roach right there. But nevertheless, she took it down. That's all that matters. Finally made a burrow too, so that's a good thing. All right, everybody. I'm gonna go ahead and feed the ghost mantis. See if we can get some good takedown clips. I'm sorry, that's, that's gnarly. But this shit fattened her up in no time. So much commotion, the man just doesn't know what to do. Alright, so it's cool but creepy at the same time. Oh, he, he tried to catch a second roach. I think his best bet is to just eat one at a time. But these are medium sized roaches. This this should uh, fill her up, no problem. And actually one of them is a freshly molted roach, so. Yeah, there's just so much commotion. The mantis is like, like I'm trying to eat, but I'm seeing all of this movement. Like it might try to catch a second roach. But I think if he just takes his time, works on one by one, to be able to get them all. This was my very first roach, so I wasn't expecting this one to survive because I really have, I don't have that much experience with these type of animals, but apparently if I had it ever since it was an L3 and it's now an L5, I, I think I'm doing alright. Oh jeez.
You guys don't really get to see the mantis like actually eat, let alone catch prey, so personally I really don't care how long this clip uh, becomes. Even if she just takes down just one roach, that's more than enough for me. Alright, here is my giant Asian forest scorpion. I'll go ahead and try and throw a roach at him. See if he'll... Oh, he's agitated. Are you going to be able to see a takedown? Throw a second one in there. Oh, it's eating a leg. I don't know if you guys can see that. Yeah, I'm glad I grabbed two roaches. You can't just eat a leg, Akuma. You gotta eat a whole roach. Don't just walk, don't walk away. There. There, there you go. There's a second one. No, get off, get off the stick. There, there's a second one. But yeah, but the weird thing about, uh, about my male uh, Asian forest scorpion is that he never uses his stinger. But I did buy him at a store, so I don't know if they drained the venom out of his stinger. Or even if he, even if they did, wouldn't he be able to reproduce uh, venom uh, in his tail? Or, or are they just known for not using their stingers for hunting prey, and they're just that violent that they'll just wrestle the prey down with their claws and just gorge on them? But as you can see, uh, Akuma is definitely munching down on that roach and once he's done with that one he's got a second one right next to it so he has two two meals
because I feel like I have to draw his attention in order to get him to eat. But you guys got to actually see him actually take down prey. But I don't know if you can see that well, but you could literally, I literally see his little scissor-like uh, appendages just ripping away at the roach right now. I feel bad for the roach, but I am happy that Akuma is eating. And so, happy scorpion, happy owner. Well, that was all the invertebrates that were able to be caught on film uh, feeding. And uh, as I was uh, feeding all the invertebrates, I also did a little something that uh, Edward uh, Tendall I don't know if I'm pronouncing your name right, Edward, and if I'm not, I am very sorry. <laughs> but uh, on one of his uh, videos, he tried something out in terms of like uh, check checking out uh, what gender each animal is. Because personally, there's only two invertebrates that I have that I know which gender they are, and that is my Apinopalma simani and my uh, Asian uh, forest scorpion. My Apinopalma simani is a female, and my uh, scorpion is a male. I am very positive. But along with the other tarantulas, I tried out a technique, as I was saying, which required this, uh, which is a pendulum got it for like 14 bucks really appearance wise I thought it was really neat but I just needed a pendulum because from what Edward said you could literally just have the pendulum on top like literally on top of the animal and depending on how it moves how the pendulum moves determines what gender it is. If it's going like back and forth, it's a male. Now if it's like circular motion like this, then it's a female. I don't know if this 100% proven, but the majority of all of my animals are all female. I literally like before I would feed them, I would literally take the pendulum and just do a reading. I charged this thing with my energy and was able to determine what the genders of all of my invertebrates are. And besides my scorpion, literally all of my all of my uh, tarantulas. And my uh, vinegaroon and my mantis are all female. And like with the vinegaroon, I believe like the larger their claws are, that is a male. But if it's smaller, it's a uh, female. And you guys don't really see my vinegaroon that much, but its claws aren't as big as I would expect them to be. So it's, I think that's proof or unless I'm wrong, unless I'm wrong about how, like the gender between male and female with vinegar runes, if somebody knows, you're more than welcome to enlighten me. But um, but yeah, I was very happy that I got to see uh, the Samupeo Sermonia come out and take down its prey. That made my day. I enjoy watching that one uh, eat and come out and pounce on its on the feeder bugs. So, 
a lot, you know. I was gonna try and buy some uh, tarantulas from uh, Pulp Friction, but a lot's been going on, like I said at the beginning of the video. So, but for sure, because I requested some time off for the 18th, I will be going to the uh, Kalamazoo Reptile Expo and possibly I'll see Pulp Friction there and see what happens. Because until then, I'm probably not going to be buying any more tarantulas until me, my mom, and my animals are in a new living space because things are just... I'm not going to go into detail, but things are pretty bad. But I am glad I was able to do uh, another feeding video. They keep me busy, they give me something to do, and I enjoy seeing the animals do what they do best. To my fellow YouTubers who have been wondering if I've, why I've been, why I haven't been so active on the, my channel, that's 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 why. So, but I I am positive you guys will understand my situation and. But anywho, um, this is uh, the Hawks Den signing off. You guys have an awesome day, and uh, I will definitely keep you guys posted if there are any new updates with the animals or just anything in general. So you guys take it easy. Bye.